have you noticed it's only Wednesday and you're getting a video I've been trying to put out two videos a week Wednesday and Saturday and the Wednesday video is just short little videos that I have in mind to show you and then Saturday are the more you know like the 30 minute videos so if you like this format let me know and encourage me it keeps me making videos otherwise I get lazy on this video on this short Wednesday video I wanted to tell you about my plans for making this this board is a three axis stepper motor controller and it's the same board that I use in my techno router that I've showed on the show cutting wood so many times I have a spare it's right here but I blew the driver chip out I have another driver chip that I was going to put in there but then I remembered I bought this kit and I'll put a link in the description if you want to build your own but after seeing this kit for a hundred bucks I thought I would just start over again and put it in this case that I found now for like a hundred bucks you get this kit you get the circuit board and the parts for it but you still have to put it together and you're responsible for building it and finding your own case and your own power supply I'm going to be using an old transformer transformer you know an old school type not switching power supply I don't know what this case is from um, it came out of computer surplus I think it used to be like a SCSI controller or something like that but it's the perfect size for a CNC controller I thought and it already has like the plug connection the power switch a fuse plus it has these slots here that I can easily put a parallel port through and that's what this board is is a parallel port controller and it runs really well and it's very durable and a lot of people have asked me what kind of controller do you use and so I thought this would be a good show to point others in so this is a fact-finding show do you want to see me put this together on film let me know and I will otherwise I'll just build it so let's go ahead and open up this box it's gonna to have to be gutted whatever's in there if you know what this is leave it in the comments I I'm not really sure and anyway I can start looking at my parts and finding out what I need and see if you want me to build the thing on the camera that is anyway let's uh, let's open up this box I want to see what's in it so yeah this was a SCSI drive holder I believe you'd put SCSI hard drives and this was kind of like an external hard drive I believe that's what this is has a power supply a fan that I can use I can use the switch and I can use the fuse holder look back here I'll try to get a close-up of these these are the uh, SCSI ID numbers you can click on them change the drive so yeah that's what this is then up here in this bay this is where the drives would sit and this would be the power supply to run them so yeah I'll just take that out and most of this back here I'm be able to use just fine I think that'll make a fine case this was made by stream logic model number SL 4100 UW DPCI so yeah I would say this is an external SCSI hard drive enclosure for multiple hard drives yep that's my guess so I'll leave a link to this kit in the description if you want to get your own and I thought I'd show you the documentation that comes with it this is the documentation for my first board but it should be the same that's in here very thorough it has a parts count and everything shows you how to hook up various stepper motors and there's a step-by-step -step, you know starts out step one and you can see where I've checked these off and so I followed this and it shows you it tells you what kind of power supply that you need and the tools required so it's pretty good and when you get it done you know there's a, a feeling of satisfaction that you made this yourself and if you know if it breaks you'll know how to fix it because you built it so it comes down to 17 step 17 then it gives you more information about step and direction which all helps you when learning about CNC 
and it just keeps on a going. I think this kit was around $75. I have to buy a power supply for it, which is a transformer. That's going to be about $40. I still have to order that. And maybe a various other, like a capacitor, a big capacitor. So that's going to run probably another $100 um, at most. So $200 for a really good three-axis stepper motor driver controller is not bad at all. And these are some of the motors that you would typically run with a stepper controller like this board. These are fairly large motors that can run a medium-sized machine. This is a 307, no, this is a 305. Yeah, 305 ounce stepper motor. That means it can hold 305 ounces, you know, hold holding power. And it has the pins that come up that you can put on relays to control things like vacuums and pumps and spindles. So you can expand with relays. It's just a simple board that works well and it's easy to understand. So let me know about what you think about putting this together on camera. The reason why I'm asking it's a lot more work to do things on camera than if you just do it. You know, you got to worry about lighting and getting the camera in there and that sort of thing. But I encourage you, if you're looking for a CNC controller, to maybe get this kit and build it along with me. It's a very durable machine. And it runs on just about any PC that you can throw at it from XP up, you know. And it just needs a parallel port. So anyway, let me know. I'm looking forward to your ideas, suggestions, and encouragement. We'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on Saturday. Bye for now.